I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. Now we'll discuss some test questions. Here is one of the most interesting test questions on polynomial graphs. The graph of y equals to x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is shown in the figure. Find the value of b, c and d. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So to begin with, we should actually figure out what are the x-intercepts and that will give us the clue about writing the equation of the given graph. So let's mark the x-intercepts. So we have one x-intercept which is linear. I should say zero which is linear, one to minus three. The other one is at plus one and then we have at plus two. So we see that we have x-intercepts at, there are three x-intercepts, right? At x equals to minus 3, 1, and 2. Now these are all linear zeros. Since they are linear zeros, we could now write down the function f of x as equals to a times these factors so minus 3 will give me a factor of x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 2. So these are the linear zeros. Now A gives you a family of the curve. With these zeros, we could actually draw many graphs. To get the exact value of A, is a good idea to look into the y-intercept. So from here, the y-intercept clearly is 6. So we are using this point, which is, let me write down in a different ink, y-intercept of 6, coordinate point 0, 06. So that should define the value of a. So when you substitute x equals to 0 and f of x as 6, we can get the value of a. So we get here 6 equals to a times 0 plus 3 will be 3 minus 1 minus 2. And that is equal to positive 3 times 2 is 6, 6a. Six so we get a equals to 6a or a is 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So we do get a equals to 1, which was kind of expected since the coefficient here was 1. However, we could have got a value. In that case, we will have to factor it, correct? Remember that. Anyway, now we know that we have the right equation. And with this equation, we can find the value of b and c. But we need to expand now, right? Now we know a is 1. So let us expand and write it in standard form. So now what we need to do is convert the equation to standard form. So we'll expand this and we'll say f of x is equal to, so we can take two factors at a time. So let's take these two factors, multiply, and then we'll use the third one. So what do we get? We get x squared minus x plus 3x minus 3. We're going to multiply this by x minus 2. So, so we get x cube. Now this could be combined, but I'm not combining now. We'll combine it at one stage. So x minus x squared plus 3x squared. It was better to combine though. I have limited space here. So I'm cutting down on steps. Minus 3x. Multiplying by minus 2 gives me minus 2x squared and minus 2x minus minus becomes plus minus 6x plus 6. Now we can combine the like terms. So we have one term which is x cubed as expected. And now combining the x squared terms, we have a couple of x squared terms here. We are going to combine them. So minus x squared plus 
will give us 2x squared and minus 2x squared gives us 0. So the x squared terms are in fact 0. As far as the x terms are concerned, we have minus 3x and plus 2x is minus x. So that gives us minus 7x. And the constant here is the product of 3, 1, and 2, which is 6. So in the given question, we do get the value of b, c, and d. Comparing this with the expression given to us, we can write down our answer, and that is the value of b, which is the coefficient of x squared, is 0. The value of c, which is the coefficient of x, is minus 7. And the value of d, which is the constant in this case, is equal to say 6. So those are the three answers for the real numbers b, c, and d in the given equation. But I hope you understand these steps. So the idea is to get the equation from the graph in the factored form and then expand it and write it in standard form. So we began with the factored form, right? So we began with factored form. And then you get it to a standard form. And then from there, you could compare and write down the result. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.